Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Boss Stitchers. Today is February 15th. Hope everyone had a happy Valentine's yesterday. And this is episode 39. Thanks for joining us. And to our returning viewers, our background setting may look a little different today. I've had, um, I guess a busy week, or maybe a really not busy week, I don't know. But I had foot surgery, so uh, I have temporarily stayed in a another location, a nearby hotel, which is a lot more accessible than my 1930s house to move around in. So that's been nice to have a little break from so that's that. Why we're, that's why we're filming a couple of days yeah. late. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, so I hope you missed us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're happy to be back. And have, uh, I hope we have some new viewers too. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Yep. So would, what are you, would you like to throw out the first uh, stitch? Sure, we might as well get right into it. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, we'll start with the whips. And I have a very little, small, easy one. This is Wondrous by Pine Mountain. And this has been uh, good for me to carry around to appointments with me. And uh, so that's coming right along. I don't have too much. Um, I love this actually, one. I can't wait to start mine. Yeah, yeah. A nurse the other day was very impressed that I was working on the Christmas things already. So <laughs> glad I got that in. And, and, and I, don't, um, for our viewers, uh, we've, we've said this before, but if you're looking for this kit and you look for it on um, one, two, three stitch, um, it is spelt wrong. So, so don't spell it correctly and hope right, to find it. Right, so rather than spelling it wondrous, <laughs> it is wonderous. And so it's W-O-N-D-E-R-O-U-S on one, two, three, stitch. So, Unless they uh, corrected it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I should write to them. Right. <laughs> And my other whip is from the Kirshner's Big Christmas Craft Book. I believe that was last year's. And it's all is calm, all is bright. And so cute. I love this one. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And about this much done on it. Um, I, I was complaining a little bit to Jane that there's a lot of quarter and three quarter stitches in this that um, can kind of feel kind of fiddly, but um, it's still a fun project and it's gonna be really easy to go back afterwards and fill all, all the letters of calm they're all filled in with a different color. So that'll be a really quick stitch someday at a stitching event to get that Pretty fabric. done in. What do you... Yeah, I love this fabric. I think, unfortunately, I don't think I know the name of this, but it was Be Stitch Me. Mm. And um, it's just perfect for it. It has those beachy colors in it, the sky and the sand. and Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, so that's so let's 32. Gonna... Um, I believe so. It's 28 yeah. or 32. It's nice. And, uh, thanks. So, that's fun. That's all I've been doing. I feel like I should have more to show at this point, but... Uh, <laughs> well, you give me another it. couple of weeks of this and I'll... <laughs> that's right. I'll be right there. <laughs> and that's it for the whips. All right. Uh, so... I've stitched on a few things since I saw you guys last. Um, this is um, a Bluebird's Message, Luminous Fiber Arts. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be a cute little stitch for Halloween? I mean, uh, for uh, Valentine's Day. So 
It will um, be for next Valentine's oh, Day, right? Brother. So <laughs> I'll just hold this up against it. I get. Uh, let me. Oh let yeah. Me, let me, let me, let me just here. get a piece of paper. So. Uh, oh, this will be a cute, quick stitch. This border <laughs> is really. This border is no joke. <laughs> Well, you did take the hard way, though, Jane. Well, I'm, stitch I'm stitching this on 25-count Dublin linen. It's uh, antique white. And I thought, oh, I, that would be really cute as a little pillow. So I'm doing it over one. And that border just <laughs> never ended. So I finally finished Thank God it. Thank it up. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I finally uh, finished the border uh, over the weekend, and, and I started on the bird, but there was no way that I was going to have it done for Valentine's Day. Well, I think so. you've done the hard part, though. Yeah. 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 And those and colors have my, are just going to pop off my little off, yeah. beagle needle minder oh. on there. <laughs> Is that so. a beagle that we know? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> No, because it doesn't have something torn in its mouth. In its mouth. <laughs> so. ah, that's a great one. Yeah. And then in my bag from my friend Tracy yeah, of OG Stitchery, uh, I have my um, Christmas Village um, project. This is a Mill Hill kit, and this one is called Tree Farm. Good one um, to start with. Yeah, and um, you know, sometimes I'm a little anal, so I this is uh, copyright 2006, and I think this is the first <laughs> one that they, they did, and I thought this is a good one to start with because it doesn't seem quite as daunting yeah. as the others. Um, and I'm stitching, I'm going to stitch all of these. Oh, I have thread here. I'm going to stitch all of these on um, 28 count mushroom lugana. And so I have started this one. And that's how far I've gotten. It looks great on that material. Yeah, it does. It's nice. Yeah. I'm going to have these made up all into uh, little, um, I'm going to have them made into stand ups so that I can. I can see display. them on a the mantle right yeah, now. Yeah. And um, I had um, jury duty today, and um, I wasn't picked. I was uh, so overlooked. Uh, yeah, so they called us all in, and they swore us all in, and then um, we each had to go up to um, the uh, to talk to the judge and the lawyers, you know, all independently and. So I had, you know, they asked me a couple of questions, and then they said, okay, well, um, this juror is impartial, so go take a seat, you know, in chair number four. And then they were only gonna be um, seven jurors, so they um, picked the seven, and then uh, there were a bunch of people that they still hadn't um, talked to. So then I hear, pss, 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 you know, uh, juror number six, number and then this is number six, and then and I'm like, and then um, so then the judge says, okay, juror number six, seat number four, you can return to the jury pool. <laughs> so I had to return to the jury pool. <laughs> I thought um, they were saying so. Oh, juror number six, she looks like she really wants to spend the day stitching today. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's give her a break. So why why I brought this up is once when I got there, I did bring this with me, and I did um, I did most I finished the little um, the rust color in the roof here, the road over here, and then I started on the sign. So I didn't get a lot of time to do it, but I, this is what I brought for uh, to court. time well spent. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, and then if you remember the last time uh, we were filming, we were due for a big snowstorm. So we got a pretty big snowstorm. Yeah. And uh, so, of course, I brought out my snow day project, uh -huh. which is uh, button up. 
You had no shortage of opportunities to work on that this year. So, um, well, let's see. I might have missed a couple of storms because they were just like little, little ones. flurries. Yeah. So, um, but this was a big one. And oh, so yeah. I, um, so this is the project. And I had these four. Can you hold that? Yes. I had these four done. And this is the one I was working on. So I finished that top middle. Good. And then I started stitching on the bottom right. Looks great. Yeah. I love all those. I think that Snow Angel's my favorite, though. It is cute. Yeah. It's really cute. And then I'm gonna have to think about um, I'm gonna have to think about um, stitching in between because um, when I started, I was gonna do this zigzag line all around oh, them. Oh right! And the middle one looks great, but then when I come down here, I think I'm off. So I don't know if it's because it's just not gonna work out evenly, or if I did it wrong. So I'm going to have to play around with it. I might have to think of, think of a different um, border to do. But that will not be that will for come. a little while. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, oh, yeah. The Check other, it out in temperature. That's right. I'm doing um, temperature butterflies. The way and this the is... weather's been, that's going to look crazy, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yep, this is Temperature Butterflies. Um, you can find this at Stitch and Mommy at her uh, website. And so every day, um, I check the temperature and I write down the high. And then I figure out, um, according to the DMC chart, um, what floss corresponds to the... Um, to the temperature and so what's the highest so far the highest in january was 57 okay uh, yeah 57 you might top that in february yep who knows yep oh i got these um my our friend Kristen. Um, that stitches with us in the world and stitches brought in some peels um, to uh, for everybody to take if they wanted so thank you Kristen <laughs> um, these work really well and I have don't some let, for you too don't don't let, don't let me thank you Kristen <laughs> don't, don't let me forget don't yeah, let me I'm walk out my eye on yeah her. don't let me walk out <laughs> um, so here we go so January is done and we got this like little like kind of greenish yeah. yellow um that was what was that that was probably like 47 okay or 43 maybe yeah anyway um i like the way it looks yeah it's pretty you're and doing a good job getting the outlines done too yeah well um i was coming to the end of january <laughs> and i thought oh no oh no i gotta do the february one so um, so February, uh, the, all the outline is done, and I did through the 9th. So I'll have to figure out the temperatures. And, um, it's kind of fun because you're just filling in these yeah. little, you know, and even though you're, you're changing floss, um, it's good to do a few days in a row because if it's the same color, right. then you can kind of skip around a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm having That's fun. A fun one. I am having I fun. I like that doing idea. This. Yep. Yeah, it looks very nice. And then the last thing that I stitched on Ooh, is a biggie. Is, um, <laughs> Let Freedom Ring by Lila's Studio. And oops, let me get this out of the way. I'm stitching this on 36 count. Linen, Pampers Grass by Seraphim Fabrics, and um, 
teaching at one over two. And I decided, so I stopped, I finished all of the back stitching except for the windows and the drain pipe in Ooh, the drain pipes in the buildings. And then I had to, um, cause I couldn't, I just couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't, I just couldn't <laughs> do just it. Couldn't. Yeah. Uh, so then I, I came up here and I'm doing the, the flower. So I think what I'll do then is I'm going to, I'm going to work on this side over here and then come over. So nice. I, I need a little break and I need a little color. That was really good so. that you got that all that done though. Yeah. Yeah. You're so, be so happy. I know. <laughs> but, uh, but on my, um, boss may board, which we will talk about, um, in a few minutes, uh, I had it on it. I had it on there for, oh, to finish. for a finish. <laughs> oh, you crazy optimist! Yeah. I know I'm such a crazy kid. <laughs> You're reaching for the stars. <laughs> oh, okay, good progress. Yeah, it's you know, it's coming. Yeah, one stitch yeah. at a time. <laughs> All right. Um, Any so finishes? I have no finishes. All right. You? Well, I've got, I've got a small FFO. Okay. I think I was almost finished with this last time. Mm -hmm. This is Pine Mountains February Expressions. And I got it done ahead of Valentine's Day for my husband. So there was a quick one. And I had added that in on my No New Starts as a replacement for a small that I finished last month. Oh, cool. So, so now, got you that to, one done. now you get to put in another one. Yeah, and I'm gonna have one versus on my board, so I'm gonna have that one done soon too, wow. so. You're gonna have a lot of new starts. Yeah, but I gotta really. Um, if you want. I know, I gotta concentrate on those bigger ones too, but yeah. it is fun though, <laughs> or knowing that you can <laughs> put something in. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, last time, um, we had a couple of charts that, um, we wanted to give away and, um, we had some people, um, who entered. Um, so the first one was for this favorite font sampler and the word that you needed to use was quick. Um, and our viewer, Carol, won, um, Carol Fawcett, and um, she says, Hello, ladies. I hope you are not too buried in snow. I'm hoping that you both are staying safe indoors and getting a lot of stitching done. Jane, you are such a quick stitcher, and I always love seeing your progress on mm -hmm. your projects. I love your Eeyore. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Chris, your hair is adorable. Oh, well, thank you, Carol. <laughs> You look fabulous. <laughs> thanks for another great video. So thanks for entering, Carol. Um, Congratulations. I, yeah, so if you will just uh, send us an email with your address, uh, we will get that out to you. The second one is this chart from um, Studio M, and it's these um, little sacks of onions and uh, potatoes. and. Um, I don't have, I, I'm giving you the thread also. Um, the only one that's not in here is the red because um, I completely ran out of that. But if you run out of any of these, they're, they're DMC colors, so you'll be able to match it pretty well. Um, and our friend Lily and Merlin won this one. And she says, hi, ladies. Just a quick note to say what a great haircut, oh, Chris. <laughs> Uh, you, she was, you were supposed to use the word Maine, and she said, did you get a cut in Maine? <laughs> <laughs> Have a great snowy weekend stitching. Stay safe. So um, thanks for entering, Lillian. Congratulations. Uh, I'm sure that I have your address, but I'm not, um, if you could just. Just in uh, case. Yeah, just in case. Please, uh, please send us an email. So as soon as I get that, these will go in the mail. So congratulations. Okay. All right. Um, next up, we're going to talk about haul. Okay. Do you want to go Should first? I start? Sure. All right. 
Well, I was saying to Jane, I have kind of been buying too much lately, yeah. all of which hasn't arrived, but um, I've got a few things to share. Um, this is a patent from Scattered Seeds, who I wasn't familiar with that designer. I picked this up, um, oh no, actually, I got this on 123 recently, I think. And it's called Spring Meadow. And I'm not a spring stitcher typically, but there was something about that rabbit that I just thought was so darn cute. Mm -hmm. And I've bought a lot of <laughs> fancy flosses to go with it. I should have had those out more to show them because it's a very pretty palette. Um, nice and springy. Hey, maybe I can sub this in for one of those smalls, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What's the count? Get a little seasonal stitching time. Oh, oh, it's just over, huh? 154 times 83. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's a medium. I guess when I look at that, that is a pretty dense rabbit, isn't it? <laughs> it is, okay. yeah. Might be waiting on that one. <laughs> maybe not this spring. Then I really splurged on um, from Evertotes on a modern folk uh, embroidery pack. And this is Isabella's Heart. It's really and, pretty. Yeah, it is very pretty. And I got the Leo and Roxy floss pack to go with that. Beautiful. And this is the fabric slate. Mm. So I'm looking forward to starting that at a future date. I was saying to Jane that, um, this one more yeah, time. that I know at Evertote, these modern folk embroidery packages go so quickly, and I've been disappointed in the past, so. Jumped I on this jumped one? Jumped on that one. <laughs> and I think the only other things that I have here, as I say, I did buy quite a bit of floss, or mainly at one, two, three, and I did get a piece of dapple, and I know I ordered that for something specific and it is a beautiful a nice piece grid. of fabric mm -hmm. yeah um and i'm sure soon i'll realize you'll, exactly you'll, you'll remember what, exactly what use i it wanted for, for yep. yes yeah let's picture this plus and it's um 28 count cashew linen it really is beautiful hmm. so i'm sure okay. i'll make good use of that huh, on something absolutely and I think with all those other starts that you I know have. I know <laughs> I think that's it for me all right uh, I can't so wait to see what you come I up with I have a couple of things <laughs> um, so on Saturday I went to the world in stitches um, and Chris was not there because she had foot surgery, so I had free reign. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when I'm not available? No approval process <laughs> needed. Uh, no, and you I, took full license, <laughs> didn't you? I behaved myself. I did behave myself. Uh, but I had to get a couple of things. Uh, so... Um, I picked this up. This is called Winter Quail from the Blue Flower. I just thought that was kind of nice. neat. Yeah. I really like the, um, I don't know how I'm going to be stitching that, but it's got these, this like cross on yeah. it. Yeah. It's almost like a, almost like a scarf, but I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, nice. And then, uh, Randy has a trunk show um, from Erica Michaels. Mm. So, um, what a temptation there. There is, yeah. Um, this is one chart that I didn't have though, so I picked this up. This is called um, Christmas Motif Sampler. Very nice. Yeah. Is that done so in these metallic? Are all, like, religious Jane? symbols. Um, Let's see, this was stitched on 45 count ooh, ooh. Jersey Cream Legacy Linen from Access Commodities. Uh, floss used, 
Ooh, silk. A oh, very schwa, yeah. 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 Very nice. Yeah. And then, yeah. So, and then there was a, there's been a chart um, that Randy's had that mocks me every time <laughs> I go. Uh, so, you know, I look and look at, you know, and this one, um, I always Just see. Just keeps calling to you. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't really need that. No, I don't really need that. Well, I guess I, I really. I guess you do. I guess I really yeah. needed it. Uh, so this Love is Sue Hillis. This, yeah, this is called Christmas Morning um, from Sue Hillis Designs. And I really like that Santa. So I yeah, think I'll be stitching. That's a great one. Yeah, I think I'll be stitching that. And then there's just a little, a bunch of little. Uh, little ornaments I could do too. But anyway, so. Now I'm out of my misery. All right. Okay. I um, think I would have approved that by this yeah. point. You know? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> um, and then I found a new vendor, um, new to me anyway, on Etsy. And she has some samplers. Um, and her... Uh, site is Lina, L-I-N-A, OVA, O-V-A, um, cross-stitch. I'll put it in the description box Sounds like below, a dangerous but, discovery. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so she had these samplers, and I bought three of them. Um, the first is a um, Pride and Prejudice, and they're all uh, monochromatic. This one, the... Um, models, uh, the cover sheets that I'm going to show are all in um, like a blue, um, but she also shows them in other colors like black, and oh. the black is nice for this one. Um, red, I think there's, I don't know, some other color too. But uh, I like that. Yeah, and it says, you must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. And the second one I got was um, Anne of Green Gables, and it says imagination is what you need. And then, so these are all 291 by 291. <laughs> They they do go yeah. in they do go in pattern keeper though. Okay. Um, except for the Pride and Prejudice, the Pride and Prejudice is smaller. It's two ninety by two ninety. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in other words, you're going to do, is that the big ass project, Kendra? <laughs> yeah. So you have to to finish three this year, so you can sub these in. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yep. Oh, these will be like the tissue box. Right. You know, do one, do the, then do the next one. Um, and then the next is a Mary Poppins sampler, and it says, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. I don't know if I've found that. <laughs> I just think it's... But I do like that. I think it's very I love pretty. that London scene on it. Yeah, yeah, down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. I'll just wait so, for you to finish that then, and then I'll borrow it from you. And well, you know, feel, 20. feel <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to start on it tomorrow. Yeah. Huh? But she has like uh, she has a bunch of these. She has um, there's like a Star Wars one. Mm -hmm. There's Alice in Wonderland. Um, so it's worth yeah. you know it's worth checking out Very just nice. to see how pretty they are. Um, and that's, that's that was it, my huh? haul. Yes. All right. Um, so, so plans. Well, um, as Jane alluded to, we've been doing uh, Boss Me boards, which is a takeoff on um, uh, Whipco by our main friends uh, who can be seen and should be seen on Two Needles Pulling Thread, Kathy and Missy. Mm -hmm. And Kathy was the mastermind behind this. And we're doing this stage anyway for six months. Although I really hope we continue because this is really fun. And um, so we, we picked four items this month. Mm -hmm. 
and one of them surprisingly I had finished last month um, was one of my smalls and it probably was under the category of something I could actually finish or something, uh -huh. or something yeah. when I yeah. get to. Yeah. So I've got three and one of which is um, that I've been working on. And I think I said five days, but I felt like I didn't put in like five real days on this. Okay. And um, so that's the one that I've been working kind of steadily on. But I have um, two more that I'm going to, they're also five days, so I'm going to start those on the 18th and give the rest of the month to them. Hmm. Um, Hands-on Designs, Let's Talk Summer, mm -hmm. my last of that series to go. Mm -hmm. And Portuguese Fish, one which yes. Jane found last year in the World of Cross Stitching magazine that I had been looking for for a long time. That's a really fun one with great colors. So um, that'll So have be you only busy. finished one square on your me board? Yeah, well, I had the one that I really had finished that I didn't even have to do this time. Mm -hmm. So that gave me some latitude. And then I have this one I've done. So, yeah. I've only finished one thing okay. so far. I did my five days on the Winnie the Pooh tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, good. So... I have some work to do. <laughs> you have the rest of the month planned out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. What else yeah. do you have left? Well, so this, um, I have to do three motifs on my um, eat cake. Oh, Susie, um, yeah, that's a fun one. I have to, uh, let's see, what was my other thing? Oh, I have to update my wish list. Oh, yeah, that's going to take a long time. <laughs> yeah. That's really an ongoing project. Game. That's never quite yeah, done. You're right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I do, actually, I think I think this week is, is going to be a good time to um, start those little motifs. Yeah. That will be good. That will be fun. And um, I have a daffodil table runner that I want to work on. Yeah. Uh, which I'm supposed to be doing five days on that. I haven't even started it, <laughs> but it is on my No New Starts list. Um, yeah, February so, is a little tighter. For, mm, yeah, but you know. Yep. Come well, March, well considering I didn't finish the ones from January, <laughs> uh, I got to work on my hate. Yeah. That's what I really need to do. I would need to work on Little Drummer Boy. Um, it's really fun though. So, I like doing this and it's good yeah. motivation to yeah. really make like a dent in something. And, yeah. 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 For a month is a little bit much. <laughs> we should we should have probably done it for the year. But um, anyway. Well, we'll this is our learning curve, yeah. right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Of course, Kathy and Missy are like I know, I was going to say like yeah. So yeah, like Four month that doesn't even. <laughs> I know, yeah, but this Slow is a takeoff on um, on Whipco, as Chris said, and that's um, Jesse, Jesse Marie Marie's. does stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. and um, so it's fun. It is. We're yeah. having a good time too. Um, but Just that's in case we needed much, more uh, motivation to stitch, <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, so let's see probably another two weeks, two weeks. yeah yeah we'll be ready all right good yeah now you think in two so in two weeks you'll be you still can't put weight on your foot no mm -hmm. i can't mm -hmm. so that should be some some good stitching time in yeah. there i think yeah. yeah yeah all right yeah well we're gonna no excuses that's right so we're all going to expect a lot <laughs> The pressure is on the next time. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, and if you need me to, you know, run out and get some floss for you or something, I'd be happy to You'll do that. You'll be the first one I'll call, Jane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, thanks again for um, coming and uh, staying with us for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, we really appreciate it. Um, we appreciate all your comments. Um, they're really fun to read and um, appreciate your support. So uh, until next time, happy stitching. Happy stitching and stay well. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.